It's time, it's time. Are the children in their beds? Are all the doors and windows locked? It's time, it's time. It's 8 o'clock. Are the children fluffed? Are the pillows in their gap? Wait, is that right? Fluffy children? Hmm. Where was I? Oh, yeah. It's time, it's 8 o'clock. To bed, to bed, you sleepy heads. Don't tear your bed. Let's go. Put out the light. Put out the bed. Turn down the cat. What? <laughs> what did I just say? Put out the light. Yeah, that's right. Put out the bed. No? You wouldn't put out the bed unless it was on fire. <laughs>
baby shot.
By the way, I'm at the top of the hill. <laughs> Excuse me, young man. I couldn't help but notice you seem to be interested in that young lady of the female persuasion. Well, let me say, you have excellent taste in women, and I know you must be overly anxious to impress her with your charm, your wit, your intelligence, and your physical prowess. Well, let me say, I have seen young men like yourself, where everything nature has to offer in the way of personality and intelligence, but lost the girl of his dreams, because he was soft, flabby, round, punchy, plump, generally had a proper physical condition, probably from sitting in the corner for hours on end being shy and too many sweets. We would hate for this to happen to one such as yourself. So have I got a deal for you? Come on, little sweet friend, and I'll get you to be it. I've got a deal, a steal. I mean, you can't depend. I can see it in your eye. And I love you, can't deny it. It's sweet. Sweeter than a pie. Listen to me, I've got a deal for you. Listen to me, and I'll tell you what to do. I'll be a friend. Well, lend a helping hand, and I highly recommend a stand over a stand. Friend, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna make you a good get point of deal. A candle is a tool that'll send you back to school. Talk you're looking to burn, your body fat is cool. Jump across the back, you're going to get the back to a stage. The shape that's pushing all that back. Listen to me, I've got a deal for you. Listen to me, and I'll tell you what to do. I'll be a friend, and I'll live a healthy hand, and I highly recommend a candle with a dance. Look here, friend, see that? That's genuine mean brand quality. So what you want the treat of an early woman? Better do the loom, the better not the beat. But if you got the green, you'll be looking pretty lean. Better get the fit, catch the girl and get to me. Listen to me, I've got it. Listen to me, and I'll tell you what to do. I'll be a friend. Well, let the helping hand better get dragged together. Get the cattle with the dance. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. Okay, man, I know you're going to be extremely pleased with your new purchase. You hunter jumps across that thing every day.
favorite thing is Jack stew. You can usually find it, not Jack, but the baker, at work way before dawn, cutting his cookies, buttering his buns, and patting his eggs. <laughs> Today, it looks like he's selling the sidewalks. No, I mean having the sidewalks, say.
He decided that maybe affection is much better than confection. Maybe the whole of the soul was in the shape of a woman.
blondish hair, and that sad little pout, and those big puppy eyes, and that smudge of palms she just made him irresistible. So I went for it. But you know what? He didn't want me. Jack wasn't moved by me at all. I couldn't believe it. I didn't have anything he wanted. Now that's how you catch a man. Offer him something you want. You don't have to give it to him. Just the offer will keep you tagging along. It's like waving a greasy bow in front of the dog. That's how you catch him. Now your Jack seems to fancy sweets. Just offer him something you can't resist. You can leave him anywhere you want him. You got it?
Once upon a 